So today we learned all about Indians and vests and necklaces and teepees and all the things we're going to do in our craft video. We got to see them in person at the Native American History Museum today. So it was a great way to get kids encouraged to do these crafts. And I thought they really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So if you guys aren't able to go traveling and go to the Native American History Museum, you guys can do You guys can watch movies and watch movies like Pocahontas or Peter Pan or Brother Bear, Indian and Covered, Little Indian Hiawatha. They have all these Indian movies you guys can watch to get kids inspired and motivated to do Indian crafts. Today we're going to do Indian necklaces, Indian headbands, we're going to do an Indian vest out of a paper bag, we're going to do a teepee, we're going to do a corn on the cob, we're going to do, um, oh, we're going to do a cornucopia mosaic with the leftover seeds that I had from the Halloween video. If you guys want to see us do any of these crafts or maybe see a few pictures from our trip, stay tuned and I'll have a little bit about where we got everything and I hope that you guys have a really good Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a good holiday season period and I hope that this video encourages you guys to do some Thanksgiving crafts with your kids. a beak, you guys have a body, and you have a head. And we just used like a cup, bottom of a cup, and tape for the circles. Put your circle on your stick. <laughs> okay, press down and hold it. They say $3, but they were 50% off. A lot of stuff at Michael's is always half off. So they were $1.50 a piece, and I could not pass these up. And if you guys don't have the poles, you can just do construction paper. And these are just stickers that you add on to it. But it's the cutest little totem pole with little animal eyes. It'll be so much fun. Yep, put your eyeballs on. So I just, all these have little pieces that just pop out. Ready for noses? Put your noses on. Nose. Hayden, you got your noses put on. You did great. You did your noses? You did it. You got it. You got it? You did it.
what I did is got beading wire from the store. This is going to keep the kids' necklaces in a straight line. It's going to be easier for them than a string to be able to control and put into the beads. So to tie off the end, I just got a bead here, loop it through, and then just wrap the wire around here. You can cut this little tiny piece off if you want, but this will allow your kids to have a stopping place because they're stringing the beads on here. And the beads are going to protect their necks from this wire piece. So we got a circular pendant. And we put down glue and we put down feathers. That way we can make a pendant for their necklace. I did it! These, these came from the Dollar Tree. They were only a dollar and they are wooden beads, so I thought this was really neat. And they're fall colors, other than the paint. Hayden, good job! Look at you go! Amazing! Oh, good job! Right up, right up to the edge, right here. 
Mackenzie. Wow. I love it. Are you an Indian princess? Yes. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Look what I made. So we took brown paper bags and we just cut holes out for the arms and the neck and cut a line in the front so they could easily put them on and off. And when they get done, they can put them on. cent tan felt. Got the felt from Michaels for 50 cents. Popsicle sticks from the dollar store. We just glued all three points and glued them together and then we glued them to the actual felt down here. And when they're done we'll cut on the edge around here so we'll have three sides of a TV ready to go together. Just gotta wait for it to dry. beads instead of pony beads and so what I did was I just tried to go through and separate out all the colors we could use for corn red yellow orange green dark green and um, hopefully this will be enough beads for us to make a corn on the cob make corn like a fourth or a third of the way done maybe and then we're just gonna twist off the ends and I'll show you that when we're done so we're done with her corn I just cut off the ends and twisted them under and I'm gonna twist these sides around so I cut this piece of construction paper and I'm just gonna fold this inward to make the little make the corn husk so I've taped the bottom here and it's ready for the corn 
Is that corn? 